I want to see if eating this sandwich slowly is easier on my blood sugar than eating it quickly. So yesterday I ate this exact same sandwich as quickly as I could. It took about 4 minutes and 11 seconds and you can see the results up here. I had quite a big spike. Today I'm going to eat the exact same sandwich over a half hour period to see if I can help reduce this blood sugar spike. Yesterday I ate the sandwich in 4 minutes and 11 seconds and it took me 12 bites to eat it. Today I'm going to eat this in 30 minutes. So I'm going to take one bite every two and a half minutes and we're going to see if I can't reduce the blood sugar spike. Here goes. All right, it's been a couple of hours since I've had the sandwich. Before we look at today's results, let's look at yesterday's results. And you can see here that my blood sugar went up by 45 milligrams. And now let's look at today's results where I ate the same sandwich over a half hour period. And you can see here that my blood sugar only went up by 35 milligrams. And that's a 22% reduction in a glucose spike which is quite significant. And here's what's happening. By eating slowly, that food enters the stomach and the small intestine at a more gradual rate. This controlled pace can spread out the absorption of glucose over a longer period of time. So theoretically, the longer it takes me to eat this sandwich, the more of an impact it will have on my glucose levels. So the big lesson for me today is to take my time and eat slowly. Remember that individual results will vary. Stay tuned for more.